So, what is the situation like currently in Wuhan? So currently, like, everything is closed. So, all you can do in Wuhan is just stay inside. Or, the most important thing we're having problem now is food. We have a shortage of food. Unless you cook for yourself, it's very hard to get food. Every shop is closed. Uh, the streets are empty. You won't see anybody if you go outside. And what is the general feeling amongst your community, amongst other foreign students, other African students? How are they feeling? Uh, most of us are just trying to figure out what to do next, you know, because we don't know what's really happening. We have the same information as we have on social media, so we, most of us are getting calls from home, so most of the students want to go back, but you can't. And there's some other students, friends of ours, that are outside of Wuhan trying to come back, and so those people are stuck outside too. And have you managed to speak to your family? I have speak to them, and they seem to be worried, but I try to tell them there's not a lot to worry about, not yet at least. Yeah. Okay, and so you mentioned the vacation. Many students leave the city. Did you want to yeah. leave, or are you happy to stay? No, me, me, I was planning on staying the vacation, but you, we know before, like, the vacation has, like, a week off, most shops will be closed, but this time it's very different. Yeah. And has your school given any guidance, any statements about how you should stay safe? Yeah, they gave like a, like a, a, a warning, like I think, I don't know how to say it, sorry. Uh, yeah. They gave out on WeChat like a uh, documents on the virus uh, on how to prevent it and they give out masks uh, in our dormitory mm -hmm. and dorm living in dormitory is harder than <laughs> it seems you know, there isn't you can't cook inside the dormitory so it's very hard to get food inside oh, and then finally what are your biggest concerns now what do you what are you worried about is there anything you're worried about yeah, I think, you know, the problem would be if it stays any longer, I don't know what to do here in China. Are, will they let us go back to our homes or are we supposed to stay here? That's the biggest concern I have. Mm. There were some European students leaving in the middle of the night. I saw them, but I didn't know why they were leaving at that time. You know? Yeah, they left like before the lockdown, but wow. we didn't know it was going to be locked down at that time, you know. So, do you think they maybe their embassies told them? Uh, that's what I'm thinking. I don't know.